In this video, we want to see how to sum the top three values when there's some data missing. Now here's the column where we want the top three values and then add them. And I want to use the large function, but if we use the large function and say large three, that just extracts the largest third value. But down here where we're missing values or there aren't three values, I get a num error. Then I tried some ifs. And to deal with the fact that there might be less than three values, I use the min of however many the count is, or three. Put that inside of large, and that gave me the hurdle to add. But the problem is, if they're duplicate values, that one doesn't work. Then I tried a few different formulas that actually work, but are much more complicated than is needed. Now let's look at how the large function works. If I give it this whole array right here, comma, and I really want 1, 2, and 3 inside of k, so I'm going to use the sequence function, how many rows. I'm going to say 3 and lock it with the F4 key. Now right now, in k, f9, that will work. Large will grab the three largest values. And if there's a tie, it'll ignore the ties and only take the final third value. Control Z. Now I'm going to Control Enter, copy this, and come down here, Control V. The problem with that construction is I get a num error. But watch this. Instead of doing some crazy thing to change the number of items to extract, it's these empty cells that are causing the problem. So any math operation done on an empty cell will convert the empty cell value to a 0. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some math operation and not change the value. If I were to, in the array, F9, now I have five values that I can use for any number of values, including right here where I'll get all zeros. Control-Z. Now when I hit Enter, that's going to work. So up at the top, F2, I simply plus 0. And then my goal is to add, so I sum. Control-Enter and copy it down. Here it gets the correct 0. Here it gets a correct 14. A correct 300 here. And 1, 2, 3. If I look down in the status bar, I get the correct 270. Now here we took the approach of adding the top three. What if we just wanted to add all of them? So I'll highlight in number one all the values. But now I want to subtract the two smallest values. So comma, and I'm going to use a negative to negate the values that I'm going to grab. And then use small. I have to plus 0 here, comma. And instead of using sequence, which I could, I'm just going to hard code this in. Because if really the values aren't going to change, meaning you're always getting the top three, we can just hard code either 1 to 3 there or 1 to 2 here. You have to use array syntax, curly brackets, and either commas or semicolons. Close, close. And by the way, this right here, if I F9, that gives me the negation of both of the two smallest values, which is what I want inside of sum. Control-Z, Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. That works all the way down. Now here, we had to enter and copy it down. And that's fine. That's how I do it. But if you want to spill it for some reason, well, aggregate functions can't spill. Because what's the definition of aggregate? Take a bunch and deliver one. So there's some functions in beta right now, lambda and by rows that we can use. By rows, this is a function that only works with lambda. And what we do is in array, I give it the whole array. And because it's by rows, not the other sister function by columns, it'll allow us to go row by row and make some calculation. Now notice, comma, the second argument is function. Well, function values are not allowed in the Excel worksheet. They're allowed over in Power Query. Well, except for in the new beta, we have Lambda. Now, you would think Microsoft would have programmed by rows 
So we could just put sum function there, and then it would take the sum function row by row. But no, we have to use lambda. And we have to remember to link lambda to whatever's in the first argument of by rows with some variable. I'm going to put r. All that variable does is now it'll take that, and it knows to go row by row, comma. Well, what is the calculation I want? I want to sum the large. And the array, that's where I want to go row by row. So r plus 0, comma, and then in k, sequence of this. And guess what? I don't have to lock it, because this formula is going to spill. Close, close, close on sum, close on lambda, close on by rows. And when I hit Enter, it spills the results. And this one's not going to update, but these are linked. And the reason that we would spend the time to link it is because if I decide to then say the 4 biggest or the 2 biggest, bam, it all works. All right, in this video, we saw how to sum the top three, either with large or with small. And we even saw by rows and lambda. All right, we'll see you next video.